I don't normally get to show the water feature at night because I'm usually done vlogging. This is one of my favorite parts of the project. I really like this little horsetail fall. There's a pool. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this is your living room. You really are addicted to water. up to the project and there's a garden state koi maintenance van apparently this is a party pavilion let's check it out Just walked over, I like those steps. Beautiful house, oh, I love the bowls up top. Starting it up, see the fountain when you come in. Very clean look, like I said I like these steps coming across. Frogs jumping in, lights lit up. Wow, look at this whole place. So Timmy, this is called Lake George. <laughs> the homeowner's name is George, and everybody that comes to this backyard, it reminds them of being on vacation. Amen. All the way up in the Adirondacks. Well, speaking of being on vacation, perfectly placed hammock, listening to the sound of that. Why don't you walk uh, us through what you actually did here and how you did it? So this was a beautiful project that myself and my teammates at Garden State Koi built. We started off with a blank slate of grass here, and the excavation started down below here with a the pondless basin and then we started moving up the hill there was a couple of different things in the design here that were super important and the elevations of the back property had a match first was the homeowners wanted to be able to come along this grass path and step across some stepping stones that lead over to a patio area so we automatically knew that we had to have a drop about that high down to the basin in order for this to happen right here the next thing we had to worry about was trying to blend this waterfall which is natural looking into a retaining wall by adding some large Large boulders in front of the wall over there and some plantings we were really able to achieve that goal as you walk up the water feature on that top tier up there as well we also had to cross the waterfall so when that had to happen we had to make sure our elevation came up like this and ran straight back so we were able to put a bluestone bridge that leads from the upper patio area out into the yard over here good friend of mine and local landscape architect and designer David Wright out of Sussex County New Jersey area put in this beautiful patio as well as all these plantings around the water feature. A really beautiful mix of plantings from little crawling sedums and stone crops, but a beautiful array of plantings by David Wright. This is that upper bridge area that I was talking about. And once again, we needed to match up with that patio over there so they could walk right out to the yard here. And this is one of my favorite parts of the project is these aquascape patio ponds. They were custom cut so water could spill in multiple directions, allowing you views from down below, as well as when you walk off the back patio and also as you pull in the dry here. I really like this little horsetail fall that falls down here and with the aquascape low voltage LED lighting this looks spectacular. Adding an element like this as your headway for your waterfall really adds a 360 viewable area at the top of the waterfall. Timmy. We were in Roscoe, New York at a great client of mine. Bunch of features. They're having a little party for us. <laughs> and it's all about showcasing how people party the Aqua Speed lifestyle. He wasn't kidding. <laughs> the DJ here. <laughs> All right, this looks fun. I get to go meet some people. Wow, there's a lot of people here. There's a pool. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, okay, so we got stack slate spheres, which are super cool, I love them. Yeah. But this, this is your whole basement. Yep, yeah. yes. Yeah, <laughs> so Nancy, Hello. I just met you, the homeowner, and wow, this is an awesome gym. Like literally, if it wasn't the end of the day, I would get a workout, and I am yeah. so beat. This is great. This is so cool, so both you and your husband are into fitness? Yes. Wow. Uh, we, we had um, the house, we uh, actually started with upstairs and worked our way out. Okay. So we ended up tearing down four walls, if you could believe it, Greg. There was walls and doors here. Had a big giant uh, oil burn. And oh, sure, sure. And so we made it our own. I love it. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, this is your living room. Yes. <laughs> you really are addicted to water. <laughs> Holy cow, girl. I love the peacefulness that water brings. <laughs> and it just does something where it's more tranquil and it just gets us 
started first thing in the morning. We just have to have it. I hear you, but that's pretty unique. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> How many cops does it take to put a screen on a fire? <laughs> I gave up. Love the color changing lights. And I don't normally get to show the water feature at night because I'm usually done vlogging. But this is too cool. We had a party filled with aquascape water features and more coming in. Three more fountains coming in. So where can you put a water feature? Underneath a deck, apparently. And look at how it reflects off the water. Lighting reflects off of the house. Pretty cool. Absolutely changes the space. So you got three more fountainscapes going in, Tom? Yep, three more fountainscapes, some more rock work. Well, they are... If you really could have seen this place when we came last year, it's just a totally different. I, he's telling me it's a little different than when they came in last year. Yes. How is it different? It's just, it's a paradise. Look at it now. So all of it's new. The pool is new. The patio is new. Everything's yes. new. All and these plants, Tom had the, the, he's the guy that had the first vision of where the waterfall was going to take place. Right up on that hill, Tom yep. stood right there and said, this is where it's and going. And you can see it now from yeah. all the different party spots. Now. Yes. The natural hill, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a palette for an artist to work with. Yes. And there's three more going in. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait. 